You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Well, I'm on a pack Mars. I'm using my desktop mic on this one. The quality will probably be really shitty on the sound last Windows 10. At any rate, uh, these highly weird celebrities are trying to get the electors to change their votes. So I think it's going to allow them to be rounded off and arrested for trying to overthrow the vote of people. But anyway, you're going to go through this video. You may recognize some of the faces. I've recognized one or two of them. I know, uh, uh, Loretta Sweat. I've seen her. So I'm going to be starting and stopping. But this, uh, I don't know who this douchebag is. But I'm going to go through this and, uh, go through the points, specific points. Okay, douchebag says that Tommy Fathers built an electoral college to protect us from dangers of the demagogue. That is a lie. Whoever he is, he is a liar. They uh, did it to prevent extremely popular states from forever ruling the country by voting in who they want, like New York and California. It's actually uh, a fairness thing, in a way, that conservatives support, and liberals hate this type of fairness. Okay. Okay, imbecile number two. Says that electoral college was created to prevent an unfit candidate from getting in office. And once again, we've run over that, so we'll move along. I don't know who he is. And just 36 other conscientious Republican electors to make a difference by voting your conscience on December 19th and thereby shaping the future of our nation. I'm not asking you to vote for Hillary Clinton. Uh, I come off because one of them said they're not asking the electors to vote for Hillary Clinton. That is a lie. You are a liar, liar pants on fire. In fact, a few of them do this. I think what I might have to do here, yeah, you have this, I'll put this on mute so I don't wind up getting dinked by YouTube. Two, three, I think he does too. They say that they're not asking the electors to vote for Hillary Clinton. That's the whole idea. That's what they want. They want to... They want to steal the election for hologram Hillary. I mean, come on, let's be reasonable. These are leftists. They are communists, and they hate America. So I'm going to go through it, put this on hold, go through a little bit more. All right, uh, here's the marvelously unintelligent Loretta Swit. Just so you know, I think I recognize one other. We'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure about that. Most of these idiots, I don't even know who they are. Don't know who this idiot is. Uh, maybe some of you know. Now listen to this. I stand. I stand with you. I stand with you. I stand with you in support and solidarity with conservatives, independents, and liberals. With all citizens of the United States. The American people trust that your voice speaks for us all. They say I stand with you. Uh, in case you didn't hear it, because I was, I'm still on mic. No, you're standing against me because you're trying to, um, you are trying to undermine my vote. You're not standing with me. You people are against me, and the rest of us voted for Trump. Because we want somebody who will bring this country back from the brink. You people are traitors in my book. Continue. And that you, you will make yourself heard through the constitutional responsibility granted to you by Alexander Hamilton himself. Now listen to that. Is that sickening or what? 
These are hardcore Holly Weird leftists, and they dare bring up Alexander Hamilton. What a disgrace. I'm going to pick through some more. Okay, and then they talk about patriotism and service and all that. But these aren't patriots. These are communists. They hate America. They hate freedom. They hate representative government. They hate everything this country was founded on. They hate this country. These are America haters. They believe that the common people are a waste of skin. These are elitists. They're despicable. They're absolutely despicable. Now, I'm going to show you down here. They've disabled comments for video. Look at cowards. Night for America. I'll show you their website. It took a little digging, but I finally uh, found out who did this video. And they're talking about the Constitution. They hate the Constitution. They hate the Second Amendment. They hate the First Amendment. They hate the whole thing. These are not patriotic Americans. They are communists. I'm sorry to see the Loretta split. Uh got in on this. I would have never thought she was a hardcore Marxist, but apparently so. The rest of them, not a single one of them do I uh, recognize. I thought there was another, but nope. So there you have it. Uh, votes one day away. We should not be having this discussion. They, it should be it's a simple vote for Donald Trump and he's in. But these communists, the American Sandinistas, and these communists, and communists all over this country are just outraged. They know Trump is a capitalist, and he's going to try to bring business and industry back to this country, and jobs, and self-sufficiency. They hate that with a passion. You know, they want, at least in the short term, they want a bunch of certs, and they want basically a bunch of sheep to rule over, let's put it that way. Despicable, abhorred. I wonder what the next move is. Assuming that they fail tomorrow, which I believe they will. I think they're going to pull cut some kind of stunt. They don't know what. It's just like with Obama. He said he's going to pull some kind of stunt. He said so openly. But you don't know what they're going to do until they do it. At any rate, there you have it. The Holly Weird leftist pinko commies trying to turn the election against the American people. If you recognize them, don't go to their movies. Watch their TV shows, boycott the sponsors. They're trying to undermine this country and its voting system. They're despicable, abhorred. I just can't believe this is happening. And good luck tomorrow. I'm on the facts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Good day.